Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video is just going to be me sharing with you the Nishane fragrances that I have in my collection. So I have about 10 Nishane fragrances and I just wanted to just show you what's in my collection. And maybe you can share with me what's in yours, which ones do I have, do you like, which ones don't I have that you like. So let's get into it. A little bit about Nishane. Nishane is a niche perfume house based out of Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, it is the first uh, niche perfume brand uh, out of the country. It says that it was founded by Mertz Guzel and Murat uh, Katran. Let me see if it gives us a date. It was in uh, 2013 and the, the newest edition came out in 2021. I believe that's going to be that, that new one, Shim. I don't have Shim, but we'll see what I do have. So I'm going to show you each fragrance. I'm just going to give you a highlight of the notes that are in it, not every single note, and then uh, that'll be it. So let's get into it, guys. Um, the first one I want to mention is one that I do not have a full bottle of, and this one is called Africa Oliphant or African Elephant. This is one I did, I really wanted a full bottle of, but I couldn't find one at the price that I was willing to pay for it. So I spent the money to get a 5ml decant of it. So the main players in this one are going to be Oud, Civet, Castorium, and Myrrh. So this one is a considered a very animalic fragrance to some. Um, to me, it's not all that animalic. So I can't wait for it to cool off so I can give this one a run. This is one I really have been wanting to get in my collection, but at least I was able to, I'm able to sample it so I can see if I really wanted to buy a full bottle. When I did sample it uh, a little bit and then I bought the decant, I was happy that I didn't splurge on it because it wasn't as animalic as I thought it was going to be. So uh, Africa Olafant. Next on the list is one of, I think, believe I only have two 100 mil bottles. Um, if I could go back in time. Well, this one, I actually, I actually want a 50 mil bottle too. So this is Hachivat, you know, the coveted Hachivat. This one, pineapple, grapefruit, bergamot, cedar, okuma. So this one is supposed to be reminiscent of the famous Aventus. This is a awesome fragrance. Um, I did get this in a 100 mil bottle when I first came across it. I have been looking for a 50 ml tester of it if i can come across it for a good price so this one is another awesome fragrance this is um, a staple in the house at the end hopefully i'll i'll try to mention which one is my favorite minus hachibat <laughs> so here we go next on the list is my other 100 mil bottle this is ani all right, the main players in Ani are going to be vanilla, ginger, and cardamom. This one is considered by some to be a gourmand fragrance. I don't get, I, when I first wore it, I didn't get too much gourmand or food-like qualities from it. It was hard for me to pick up the vanilla at first. I had to wear it another time for me to pick up on the vanilla of it. So I believe uh, these are like my first two purchases, but Hachi, Hachivat and Ani seem to be like the two most popular fragrances from the house but I got these these are like my very first two that I picked up this is a while ago I had to have been 2020 I can't remember so Ani next up we have a hundred silent ways there's another one that's all, all of them not all of them seem to be popular but um, these that I've mentioned Hachivat Ani and this one seem to be some of the most popular ones in the line uh, this one has vanilla, gardenia, tuberose, and peach. This one is a, a sweet fragrance as well. So definitely going to be getting some use out of these in the fall. Um, this one and Ani have some similarities is that they're, they have vanilla in it and they're like cozy type of fragrances. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next, we have Sultan Vetiver. Sultan Vetiver is another one. This was, this one I was excited to pick up on. I, I wasn't a big fan of Vetiver. 
Uh, not that I disliked it or anything, but I'm still new to uh, my fragrance journey. I've been doing this maybe about a year or so. So when I picked this one up and I saw some reviews on it, people were, you know, Sultan, it means like king or leader. So this is like the king of vetiver. And when you look at the note breakdown, you can see why. Uh, there's just on, on the, the top notes, the mid notes and the bass notes are all vetiver, uh, Java vetiver, bourbon vetiver, Haitian vetiver. And uh, it also has leather and uh, neroli in it. I do get some neroli in it. This is something that is a, a spring and summertime beast. Um, it's, you know, you can wear this definitely in the warmer weather. Uh, you can wear it when, it when it's a little bit cooler as well. But it, but this is this is a, a, a beastly fragrance right here. This is this is vetiver through and through. So if you don't like vetiver, definitely do not pick this up. All right, next we have Wulong Cha. And so this one, as with all the bottles, they, they tend to have cities at the bottom. Sultan Vetiver had Mumbai. And you know, Wulong Cha uh, says Shanghai at the bottom. So Cha in Chinese is tea. And this one is another beastly summertime fragrance. This is probably, probably my best tea fragrance that I've ever smelled. This is similar to Sultan Vetiver, whereas if you don't like Vetiver, don't pick that up. If you don't like the note of tea and fragrances, do not pick this up. This is strong tea, even though it only mentions tea in the mid note. But so it has bergamot, tea and fig, but you get a realistic tea, like leafy tea, uh, almost like a white tea, but really strong scent out of this. So Oolong Cha. Next, we have um, Fan Your Flames. This one has New York at the bottom. Fan Your Flames. This one has notes of coconut, tobacco, and it says Chinese cedar. So it is a, it is a sweet tobacco scent. What I like about this one uh, is that it has, which is not listed in the note breakdown. It Well, it has rum in it, so let's mention that. It doesn't have too many notes, so that's cool. I'll go back over it again. So. Top notes, coconut rum, mid notes, tobacco, tonka bean, base notes, uh, cedar and oak moss. But what I get from this, which is really cool because it's like fan your flames, fire, smoke. It does have this smoke note in it. So it's not an instant note. It's a note that smells like smoke. So this is a very, very interesting fragrance to me. It's a boozy, sweet, smoky fragrance. This one is... Uh, a really nice pickup. I'm glad I was able to get my hands on that as well. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we have another summertime beast, but this is a citrus beast. This is uh, colonized. And this is all of them are considered to be extract de parfums, and this is considered to be a cologne or <laughs> extract de cologne, whatever that means. So it is a beastly summertime fragrance. This one is starting to rub off too. Anyway, some of the notes in this one are bergamot, green tea, grapefruit, and neroli. This is a very uh, citrusy and neroli based fragrance. So this one is one I'm glad I picked up definitely for the summertime. And while I have you here, we'll talk about the other one, Saffron Colonize. And so, as you see, there, there, there is no difference in the labels. There's no way to tell these apart besides from the smell. Uh, on this one, it did have Colonize on the back. But since I've had this in my bag, some of it's starting to rub off. So I don't know what I'm going to do when that's done, besides smell it, obviously. Well, this one has a sticker on the bottom. This one doesn't have a sticker on the bottom. That's one way I could tell them the difference without <laughs> checking out the nozzle. So this one, they, they have some similarities, but they're completely different fragrances. This one has a uh, grapefruit, saffron, leather. So this one does, you do get citruses from it and there's not too many citrus, it does have citron in it. There's not a overload of citruses in it, but you do get that. It is a type of scent that you can wear all year round. It, uh, you can wear it in hot weather, but it's not as, you know, summery as the regular colonnades. 
So they're two totally different fragrances. I picked up the Saffron Colonnades first because this one was uh, readily available. Everyone seems to have this one, and this one seems to be missing in a lot of places. So I was able to finally uh, get my hands on a bottle of this. And uh, this one is definitely reserved for me in the summer. You can wear your fragrances whenever you want, but if you're looking for those um, freshies, this is like the sultan of freshies. And this one is more of a mature type of scent with saffron and, and leather in it with some citruses in it. So definitely check these out, you know, and the good thing about these is that they, they come in a hundred mil. They are pretty much beast mode fragrances and they are significantly cheaper than the, um, the ones I have mentioned before. Last but not least, we have the, the flagship fragrance from the line, uh, and that is Neff's. So Neff's, uh, they came out with a new one called Shim. Uh, so this one has this design and then on the inside it's black. On Shim, I believe it's green. Um, some of the notes on this are saffron, ophthalmanthus, vanilla, oud, leather. There's a ton of notes in this. And when you spray it on, you, you do get it. It is a very complex fragrance. It has a lot going on in it. It's not my favorite Nishane fragrance. I do not dislike it, but it, you know, it's, it's not a, a easy wear. It's also an extremely expensive uh, fragrance. The only reason I have this is because I got this, you know, more than, more than 50% off. You know, I got this for a stupid price. Um, but I'm glad that I have it in my collection. Um, you know, I'm glad I'm able to go back and forth. This one definitely is a beast mode fragrance. If you spray this on your clothes and I'm, I don't, I don't spray fragrances on my clothes if I, if I can help it, but I believe I put this on one time after the shower and I, I put my robe on and, uh, I, the, it stayed on my, on my robe for days, for days. So that's the good thing about Nishan A fragrances is that they are pretty much all beast mode fragrances. I can't, out of the ones that I have, I can't think of one that isn't that doesn't last for me all day. Do you have any Nishane fragrances that don't last all day? Um, also, I don't have all of them. So are there any here that you own that maybe I should check out? Do you, is there any other ones that are more animalic than uh, African Olefin? I would like to know. If I were to choose, the one I am most interested in outside of Hachivat, so I'll put Hachivat and I'll put Annie to the side since those seem to be like the two most popular ones. If I were to choose one that is the most interesting to me, one that I would have to keep in my collection, one that I may buy again if I ran out of it. All right, I'll, in the future, I'll have to do a video where I rank uh, my Nishane fragrances. This isn't a ranking video, this is just me sharing my collection. But if I were to choose one that's my favorite at the moment, because everything's in a moment, and besides Annie and Hachibot, and I, I sprayed them real quick between uh, Fan Your Flames. I'm very interested in, in getting to wear more Fan Your Flames. If you see, I haven't even worn it and uh, Sultan Vetiver. I've barely worn that too, <clears throat> but based on the sense, based on what I know about them, these are two that I like sprayed. Um, so these are my finalists. And man, Fan Your Flames is awesome. It is a great, great fragrance. It's great. But I'm for right now, and my taste will change, I'm gonna have to give it up to Sultan Vetiver just because to me, this is like a, a completely original scent to me. I've never smelt a vetiver fragrance that was just so loud and vetiver. I believe it's it's just such a unique fragrance to me, you know? And as I said, my taste will change. I'm sure if I ever get a chance to go around and like rank these, um, it may end up 
somewhere else on the bottom of the list. We'll see as I'm able to wear these. But for right now, I'm gonna give it up to Sultan Vetiver. I think they really did their thing with that fragrance. So again, um, thanks again for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching. If you could leave a, um, a comment and a like, and if you can, please subscribe to the channel. So, you know, we can keep this dialogue going. Again, please let me know if there are any Nishane fragrances that are your favorites. Are there any that I don't have that you think I should get my nose on? And from the ones that I have, which ones of these are your fragrance? Have you tried the, the two colonized ones? Let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next video. Thanks again, guys. Peace.